So first thing we are going to have to do is <clears throat> connect our motors on our chassis just to make sure that our robot can move. This is uh, something you need to do once and after that there's only one line of code that you're going to have to import each time you're creating a new script for your robot and then your motors are going to listen to the commands you give them. So this is our chassis, our robot, our tank. It looks like that when it's closed. You're going to see this robot many times during this course but for now let's just focus on our motors as you can see here we are using two 12 volt DC motors right here but if you don't have DC motors of that voltage available there are many many different kinds of motors that you can buy online for this chassis we're going to include the link to the site where we got it from into the in the description so if you want to have exact same model you can just buy it online and it's going to be shipped to you i'm pretty sure they ship all around the world and if not then you can find an alternative site we're also going to need this h bridge because our raspberry pi cannot provide a current of 12 volt we're going to have to use this battery pack basically for eight batteries of 1.5 volt so if you have one of those it's going to be more than enough to power your motors also as usual with every connection we're going to need our jumper wires we're going to need four female female wires and one male to female jumper wire and of course our raspberry pi 4. so if you have everything that you need we can start assembling to make sure that our robot can drive so as you can see we have two wires that need to be connected from the right side of our motor and two wires from the left side we're going to connect them to the edge bridge now that the motors are connected to the edge bridge Let's connect them to our Raspberry Pi. So now let's connect our left motor to our Raspberry Pi. So we need two jumper wires, female, female. The left side is in one and in two. And then in one is going to go into our GPO 22, the physical pin 15 on our Raspberry Pi. And the in 2 is going to go into the GPO 23 and the physical pin is 16. Now that we have still a good access, let's connect one jumper wire, uh, male female to our physical pin 20 it's a ground pin we're going to need it later and now our right dc motor is going to be connected the in three pin on our h bridge is going to go into the gpo 25 and it's a physical pin 22 and in four is going to go into the GPO 24 and the physical pin is number 18. So now our motors are connected through our H bridge, the L298N into our Raspberry Pi. 
Now we just need a power source that's going to power our motors. As you can see on our circuit diagram, it's a battery pack that provides 12 volt. And I'm going to use this one. As you can see, it holds eight 1.5 volt batteries. It's going to be enough to power our motors. Please note, if you're going to connect it with naked wires, don't let them touch each other or take out one battery because if they touch each other, your whole case is going to melt. So let's start with our ground. And we have a ground jumper wire that we connected to our Raspberry Pi. You just need to connect them both into the H bridge. And now the positive wire. Now let's make sure that our H bridge uh, gets enough power. So I'm going to plug my battery in. As you can see here, the, my lamp turned on, is blinking. That means that my motors have sufficient power to run. After that, we just need one line of code that I'm going to show here. And with that one line of code, we're going to be able to uh, do all sorts of things. Of course, move our robot forward, backwards and turn it and also control the motors with various joysticks like V remote control or Sony PlayStation 4 joystick. I'm going to include the circuit diagram in, into downloadable sources so you can just download it and it's going to make it easier for you to connect the motors yourself. 